Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris bringing it to you here from a lovely Westlake Village, California. And look, if you look at the market today, you realize most of the coins are green, right? Things are green. Yet some of the altcoins have not made new all time highs. So in this part of the cycle, you need to be prepared for a shakeout or a 30% drawdown. So if you're using leverage out there, uh, you know, you want to be prepared so you don't lose your stack. I think it's a good time to look at the Wall Street cheat sheet to kind of identify where we are at in this market. You got disbelief, hope, optimism, real belief, thrill and euphoria. And I do believe we're kind of in this optimism stage, which that's part of the market cycle where if you're a positive person, right? If you um, are forward thinking, you're thinking, hey, it's probably a good time to put more risk on. Uh, people that want to take more risks are transitioning out of Bitcoin into altcoins. So we have more people, uh, I think, looking, beginning to look at the altcoins. The meme coins are really starting to run. And uh, so we'll take a look at some of the altcoins today and just check in on Bitcoin to see uh, where a potential target, and you can see this 4236 FIB is coming in. 4236 FIB is coming in at uh, 83,142. Um, so something to note there, you got the 3618 FIB coming in at 76,000. And um, in general, actually what, you know, what I'm kind of looking for is a little throwback um, at least, you know, I'd like to see it come back down to about 61,000, 60,000 bucks. I do believe based on high block capital uh, that there is a bit of liquidity hanging out there. I think for them to slice it like a butter knife uh, to the upside right now is, um, I don't know. I, it just doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel right. It won't give enough people the opportunity to get in. Plus, you can see people are net long right here. And so that means the people that are net long are going to get liquidated down here, right? All this red here, this is all um, people that are long that will get liquidated, liquidated if they're on leverage. And you got like 100x you got 100 Xers, 50 Xers, they're all down there. And so there's some liquidity down there that I think wants to get tested at least one time. And just looking at this on a shorter term time frame, wow, huge bubbles up here. Uh, not not really. Uh, so for I was going over a bit of analysis with the client on Saturday saying, hey, we're probably gonna throw it up to the upside one more time and then get a little bit of a pullback. And it looks like that's what we're doing right now. Let's just visit the shorter term time frame. So we did bust a new all time high today. Congratulations, Mr. Bitcoin. But um, I think the route of the most pain is as they're drawing in more and more, the FOMO is kicking in more. Um, they need liquidity to drive the price higher and for it to just go straight up to 78,000, which is a potential target, uh, looking at this range right here. So that is, yeah, more like 76,000, kind of the short term target. I still believe that um, we could remain bullish if Bitcoin does do something like this. And that is even tagging this 1618 FIB at uh, 76,000, use a round number there, close enough is close enough, but you would expect continuation on the shorter term timeframes above this uh, green 55, as long as we remain there if you're trading the 15 minute, but one more throw to the upside and then you can stay bullish as long as you're above this 382. FIB coming in at 63,000 bucks. As soon as we start to lose that on a four hour or more, um, you know, real threat to some potential downside action. Something to keep an eye on as well is uh, TLT, which shout out to Mr. Kyle Dupes on that one. Um, brought up a good point. Tomorrow is CP Lie Day. The CP Lies are going to, you, you know, what I'm talking about CPI. The inflation data will come out tomorrow. And if it comes in hotter than expected, um, 
you know, Mr. Prow, Mr. Prowl, Mr. Powell might say, you know what, we're not going to lower rates despite everything, uh, you know, and that's, I, I mean, what I would suspect. Why would they lower rates? The stock market is making new all time highs. This thing's absolutely out of control. <clears throat> Down $99 today, though. Uh, interesting. NASDAQ down 99 bucks and oh yeah, uh, Nvidia, right? So this is the big one to keep an eye on as well, which Nvidia is propping up the entire market, you know, and threw down a massive bearish engulfing candle here. So could it go for the gap fill down at about 740? You also have this level at about 834. To me, that looks like a bit more, uh, well, you would, that's implied downside continuation right there. Where would it correct to on a FIB retracement level? Let's just see. <clears throat> There's the 382 at 783, the 0.5 at 726. But as long as we're above the 618 here at 665, then generally the market's looking bullish. Um, and let's see if that 618 lines up with any of our moving averages and pretty close to that green 55 exponential. So if NVIDIA starts to tank, well, you know, uh, that probably not gonna do well for some of the AI tokens. Speaking of AI tokens, here's AGIX. I am feeling naked without my moving averages, so I'm gonna put them back on. Again, the moving averages that I use, the nine, the 21, the blue nine, the cyan nine, the yellow 21, and the green 55, and the purple 200. And uh, well, when all the higher term time frame moving averages are cross to the upside, well, momentum is to the upside. And when they're crossed to the downside, momentum's to the downside. Um, some standouts right here. Neutron looks like it is ready to launch. I think I'm going to add to that position myself here before it gets ahead of me. I do have a meeting, so I'm going to make this one a bit of a short one today. Um, another one that is set to launch, I think, is Mr. Casper. Um, and Injective already having a bit of a pop today. Avalanche, so I guess I should just go through them. So at a minimum, I'm looking for this one to tag the 618. We're almost there already. Let's see if I use the candle bodies, if it gives us a bit of a deeper target. And you know, the more aggressive target's gonna be at 221. So Neutron setting up for a move. Inverted head and shoulders right there. I mean, this one, I'm probably looking at the 786 at a minimum, but if trend continuation is going to happen right here, you are going to hit that 1618, which is going to be a pretty healthy move from where we're at today. That's 40%. Oh, that would be very nice. That would that would just make my morning, guys. I would be very, very happy with a little uh, upside neutron action here. And I am going to add to my position right now. Okay, getting into it right now. Um, what else is on the board? Oh, I said Casper. Casper the Friendly Ghost. No, this is the Ethereum Killer, so they call it. I, you know, I don't, I don't know if I buy into that narrative, but very similarly, about to get a bounce off the green 55 after they grabbed all this liquidity down here. And that's the ultimate target for Mr. Casper right there. Um, well, the short-term target, I, you know, when I say short-term, I'm talking maybe over the next few weeks, month, something like that. Um, and where does that line up with? <clears throat> where does it line up with? That is not lining up with anything perfectly right now. So let's see if we can crunch this down a little bit more. And then I got to get to my meeting here coming up here. And I got about two more minutes. So make sure you drop a like or a comment in, in the questions below. We're thinking about starting a new group meeting in LA here called Bitcoiners for Trump, where we're going to discuss uh, everything Bitcoin, all the altcoins, and um, how we can be a part of a fair election this, this time go around. I don't know how popular this is going to be in California, but I was just telling my, uh, my cousin here, look, like, who cares? Let's just stand up for what's right, you know? And I'm not saying, you know, I... I as long as it's not Joe Biden, please no more Joe Biden. And um, I'll leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> but comment below if you'd be interested in joining the group. 
Um, I'd be happy to give you the details. I believe we are going to meet this Thursday evening uh, somewhere close to Westlake Village. So I know if you're out of state, sorry, you won't be able to get there. But um, <clears throat> anyways, I'll leave that at that. AVAX having a massive uh, candle here, and I did already take some profits on this one. Um, you can see the inverted head and shoulders did play out pretty nicely here. And very similarly, a lot of the altcoins kind of breaking their downtrend, retesting, and then bang, getting that move back to the top side of the range. Most of the coins, um, as they did this, sold off the top side of the range. So I'm I'm kind of going with that opinion that um, if <coughs> Casper breaks that downtrend on the daily, right? We get a breakout retest. That would be the most, yeah, that would probably be the most likely thing to go to do. Um, and I'm going to get rid of this fib here. So what would that look like? Because I know we're talking about 220 on this. Um, did we get the breakout? Let's see here. It, on the hourly time frame, it does look a little bit cleaner as a breakout retest. And this is exactly where you would see that continuation drive bust through. That is looking good. Um, after a fake out here, now we got the real breakout. And as long as we're above this pivot, or more importantly, above this one right here, if you're a little more conservative, but uh, I know some people will be setting it up like this, right? So you put your stop loss right below that prior wick right there. I personally would like to do it. I, I am going to set it up like that. And I am going to target a move to the top side of the range. So not the best risk to reward, but I, I don't like to get stopped out of my trades. And a lot of times what I'm noticing on these coins is that instead of uh, just busting out straight up to the upside, we're getting a little test of the 200. And then they throw it back there one more time and then it goes. And so I'm just patiently waiting on this one. I, I do want to put that in our Discord. Make sure uh, you join the Discord. There is a link in the description below if you want to get some trade setups. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, other notables that are pulling back right now, maybe getting some you know buying opportunities. Mr. Ribbon Finance, also known as AVO. You got, uh, I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. Already, I, I'm, I'm, that's not on the list, but I do want to check it out here because this is a higher beta, uh, <clears throat> higher beta Bitcoin play ordinals STX, another one. So as Bitcoin's making new all-time highs, you'd expect some of the, you know, so-called Bitcoin-esque projects to uh, to get their rallies. And you can see Stax did put in a pretty decent rally here. And as long as we're above this pivot on the daily time frame, it is acting as support, you know, back below here. And uh, it might get into our actual buy zone. Um, that would be around $2 for Mr. Stax. Um, DSO also looks like it's about to mount an assault <clears throat> with a nice little ascending almost a diamond formation type type thing here. But if we can close, you know, the day anywhere back above 42, I do think this one will lift off with our target up here at about 64 bucks. After a long consolidation, I'm expecting a nice move off of this one. And not to pat myself on the back here, but um, well, I guess I won't because the target is not in there, but the target was hit on this one. 
for our trade setup. It took a while to get there, but uh, you can see we did tag the 618 over the weekend, or I think it was on, <clears throat> yeah, it was yesterday. So that's looking nice, looking bullish, and uh, getting that first pullback up to the 382. So now, as long as we're above this level for big time, you know, you're expecting a run at the highs at 82 cents. All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. Take care.